14 SRT, right? Yeah. Um, the what modifications do you have done on it? Uh, just air intake. Okay. The exhaust is fully stock? Uh, I'm not sure. Because uh, when I bought it, it was like this. So I'm not sure if it's performance or stock. Okay. But I don't think it's stock. Because stock is quiet. Okay. Uh, you, you run 93 fuel? One. Um, I use 89. Okay. Um, don't you have uh, 93 uh, stations around? Yeah. So from now on, switch to 93. Okay. So our goal is find a safe spot where we can do pull like a second, third gear. Okay. Is the uh, highway work good? Highway is good, yeah, but we'll, we'll need to do a pull and return back home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Drive in a second gear. Put sport? In, yeah, put in a sport. sport. we pass the bump accelerate till like a 4500 and release accelerator Yes, and uh, we'll need to do a pull. And we are running out of gas. So it's time to add 93. You want me to do a pull here? Um, you can do it here or turn around. You can do it here and then go. Okay. Sport mode and uh, let it automatically shift. Okay. Whichever is comfortable for you, either you can shift or let it shift. Ready? Yeah. Change the thing, it should be changing the lights. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I 
episode I only launched it didn't work. Yeah, and you need to show maybe this uh, thing is uh, disconnected or faulty. Uh, you want me to disconnect it? No, no, yeah. maybe, maybe it is faulty or something. Uh, but I better replace got a new one, but I think that's it's maybe programming or something like that. No, it should be working still. Yeah. But anyways, okay, let's go drive. Accelerate a bit and that uh, uh, re release. Amasobashi, Nissan the Gada Verte, Pirolichuna Shomots, Motseo, Oxtuara, Traus, and Kalok is Praglat Gadam, sorry, to our make my interest of Pirolichim, that's Alsat's Helps, Tabulabs, the Unadawagino, Praglat Kisamba Vetura, me Gagreleb system as you choose. Amito, Shevizine, Esseti, Helsatsko, Romelza Special Ratam, Tanish Nolabit, the Special Rusitre. Almost as Okay, <coughs> Tá, o 
na amoy to Ali amoy ta na amchen isa Oh, it's Kali Amoidana. Eh, it's Kali Amoidana. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, that's really a bit of... Shame that it's done. Okay, there is a walk. Anti-freezy. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Tahu ya, leh. Ide yang mau akan terfriz. Alat peri asyik untuk suli am tahu. Tahu ze kau iya leh am isi dah. Hah hah. Akan terfriz. Am mau apa? Gigi itu roga sekolah dah. Tiada nomer itu kerana sot muzda mecuit mete. Tiada cawe cawe akan terfriz. Hari ni ada. Hari itu list pers. Ես եկ կարգիս նիշանի է, պրակվատ կարա ադամցորի Հայհաց ամոյի ուղանտեղ պեզ իսը Ոկ Սալի անց կարգի, առարի դա առարի Ամասոբա շի նիսանի շիվող ուդ է ագեր, պետ է ստալս է, սախ է գավածր է, ոկոր սախումը � Ես եմ ուղակ որ ես չէ մի ուրիկ է վիտարաղաց է վիտար, նակետ մեր եմ իուխետալ Եխար աշի ես ակմ է, ես ունը չամով շալո սոլ, ես պատիուծ եմ ուլի Հել լիթարանգոն երո գավոս ծորո, հանար որ չանս ագեր ես համատ գիվաս կաղու Համե բիտունը վիղի դո ես էիք Դա մեր կաղջի մոդը մի ոմագրով կաղջի մոդը ծոտը գամիջիր դեպ ամպիրով էպ շիմ տորը ինստրումենտևի արմա կարապեր Բագրամ, այ ամաս եմ ասվիզով ծավալ ջարջի դա դավի թրև ստորս Համով ապրձանում, այս մավտուրից դամագրեմ ուլ իր ամագարի է, հոտա, ակար է ես է թերմոստատի, ումելց ունը գամով իղով, ծխալ չամով ուղարով թերմոստատի վիղի դու ախալի, հեմենի մողսնա, ռոլի կեպի ունախորոմելի ա Հայրս կլդրի է, ակե դա նմաս կենի, ավալ ակե, ինստրումենտ է բիտա, դավա խարիսխ է, չեր մարդալի է, ձեսի է հարմակ պոլապերի դա խարիսխ է բուլի, մագրամ։ Այս է դավանած է որել, ու դավանած իլ է, չեր ծակ մահոտ ծոտա ատ ոպտխով, բողոտ մին դուտը մեջ են է բինը Ես խատաշորիս արիս սածվավիս տրուպկ էպիս մոսախցնելի, շլանգ էպիս մոսախցնելի Սակ մողոտ մոսախրխ է բել լիաղացա Սաղպետքիս դամ ճերի ույղի դեպ, մագնի տեպ զեյա Դա այս դի դի տարի ու Սարլիս մի էր աղացայելի մող ուշվա։ Մի խայմ թերմոստաց մողսնի դա ունա ունախ որոգորի եղենի էր, ամդեն գրադուսի ենի եղենա։ Դա ունդա շեղ ուգ էթո ախալի։ Մեր է, ասև է շեղ իմ ասկնա դավ շալ ուղը մողս Սրամտերած 
Sot kom ons die varing uit die geet uit die. Zoiets. Warga, arwarga. Dan gaan we eerst maar iets is. Heb je iets dat zo die jaren niet meer? Dat is gek. Echt perspectief. Wie zei die roep? Ciao, ik doe het. Ga je zien, maar Het gaat als je de mogen gaat. Wat doe je nou? Ga je snel wat warga? Ga je snel wat? Wie nou in de raad gaan het? Wie die mogen dan maken dan het? Mogen ze geen snel mogen gaan? Zodig daarom. Čau, kde bych chtěl zkazit? Termometr jsem měl, tohle vůbec nebyl. Termometr. To na chod. Ramen, gradus. To musí být samý, to musí být termometr. A s tím, že to tady s faringejí je běh. A s tím, že to je zašvědí. A s tím, že to je zašvědí. Termometr, a s tím, že to je zašvědí. OK. A s tím, že to je zašvědí, a s tím, že to je termometr. Nechla. Patrzcie, co mówi, co się nie wydało też. Ciało, no to jest się. Zawodzę tutaj. Aha, to kończy się kasa, jak będę zagadał, o samo z dołu rygra, to się kończy, a jest odchmo z dołu rzełna, to jest o samą gachsna. Co to, gdy dycha nie mogły coś dłodnie nie ma, a więc i medię mój tmęt. Tu ja do wysiadu się zarobić, a gier, mi się i lać karę, Ich habe mich gefragt, ob ich mich nicht mehr so gut gesehen habe, weil ich habe mich nicht mehr so gut gesehen habe. Aber wir haben uns alle gesagt, dass wir uns nicht mehr so gut gesehen haben. Wir haben uns nicht mehr so gut gesehen. Wir haben uns nicht mehr so gut gesehen. Wir haben uns nicht mehr so gut gesehen. Wir haben uns nicht mehr so gut gesehen. Ale před jedním rokem jsem byl kachsný. A jak jsem byl kachsný, odchází od chrá gradu se. Kdyby to odchází od chrá, že jsem byl kachsný, ale odchází od orze. Odchází od se, že je bolí jak pírí. Ale je to chyba od tvora. Ale je to malé, že je to kachsný jak pírí. No, co je to? Zavíjíš, to musíš chutit, mít, až to chceš chutit, mít, faringejít. OK. A ti jde, že důhýl srovit, když jsi měří, jarí kachsně, lí bolom, dej. Já to zarobuji, to kus. Já jsem perspektiva, jsem termostativ. Dal to hodně, dej se dal vino. Tam mají ti kamory, co? Termostatis právě uloba. A na chali vyří do ta. Máš asi. Ráno do jiného sátí, že valí je, tahu vím druhý, da. Kdo to zkoušel? Chci, aby tady byly experimenty. Dávají tři. Vakuum mi schází zase po. Vakuum mi, vakuum mi systéma. Romelit. Až do sašu ale basro. Zdravší. Kdy lebe systéma? Je to vše. Vakuum mi sašu ale být. Da. Ještě schází zase po. Kamo i ura baň je se. Chci, aby tady byly. A ještě ti naboří jo. Ես եթի վակում իս շերսակ մնելի խիլսաց գովա։ Եթա անձամ զույն խարգա չույն է պտրոգոր մուշավուս եմ տրոգոր գամովի գային դգավակ է թղալ պերիմարը, կի դե տամջիր դեպտա ավուցլեմոտ կա չույն է մոմալությությությությությությությությությու Thermostaty v skéni, tak je kávový patý, on je to dávák, ani úkán, kách snil dvou maré obášť autové. A když a když je, když hlasa chodí, romel, vakuum je systém misarý, da. Chvala při kávák, je tím, že systém je šemel, že storat, da. Arda mě to vybíjí na hajeri, sajet to tarsat. Magra, kdy sana mě chám, že hlasa chodí, dává parek. Ještě jde hlasa na kávový sníd, odkud. Ok, tam chyl sat pos, bohá. A ještě ti kádám oni, čigari. Սատ ձայ այկ հաղեն էպ շեն թավսախուրս, դա ամոցմ էպ ծնեղ ասեղ։ Ագերերս, 
Şöyle bir nasos. Eka da da o magrep kameras çem kronşteinze. Şu kamera kronşteinze ya. Eka gerçekten. Ese ese arit hausa kuru. Romelit mu o mankanas. Ese aris ideyeşi ert bari yani hausa kuru. Ese ki vapar kitap ase. Akitam kahres es. Tavisi işe samot ve belit hausa kuru yapar ede. Ağır et, çok metin piyasa işler tarıyor. Ağır et iyi bari ya, iyi etiye niyat ediyor ki de olsun. Harbi şans tuvara video iş. Hoda. Eha, dava kaç oldu? Pita, nakot rahat nevazı dayıt kabs kavgaş ve bas. Sayısı iyi etiye bari onda iyi giros. İyi bari ya ruj giros. Ne kadar psijers? Başka rahat. Saat kaç? Ne olur o parça? Eşti barzet arma misloro itrepsem masra koy kapare bas. Kay. Namaz boğus ne yapma? Ağır aris, kubi. Roma saatte ya 1000-1000 kilo paskali, eset nişan nişari. Tam ne kot? Eşti bari, çöre bitu çiraos. Tak, ertesi de, ertesi de ertesi zevi tuğ ve iyiş ne var? Evet, ertesi bari çasık odayla bolu guak. Vadi ya ham tavsa koş dava gene. Oh, evet, ne oldu çiğ olsa gör. Ela ne var motor tavs? Sadan da çam olur baba. Ertesi bari uçuyoruz. Madem de kahmasat, kahva sopta var. Yes. Tak. Madem de kahçı otat kahs çava mı tepte? Nereye işi kahva gider? Tak. Al çava tutay. Eğer izgah darçeni yero, daha çok ko adgil zevamuşa oda. Ne kadar rogor mu ikt seva? Rast izavsta rogor izavsi. Sen am daha çok ko modi. Zetiz donu şey olmaz. Martale onu şey olmalı. Zetiz mara. Şey olmaz mı? Zetiz donu. Ait silahte va. Her şey mu gösto koses. Patricia mule. Ah, çok iyi. Ya mi çekmeli? Şubia. Oh, zeti kiti kasi tot. Şu piyada tomat pampalıps. Okay, kay. Peç çarptaro, peç iskrani rauit tuap saman kanas o gayx nasta itriyalo strese. Aru çıkar ama oylan da ama smara. Remes kıma ağarak. Ağar trolik içi raçon olsa çuma tarı kolap tel. Evet. Bu da vibrasiye kad modi simazı. Uza oza da albat. Kad motor ne bi? Aru arga. Romeli gatsa. Gay da var olur. Two hours later. Kavuyorum Değer tadı hiç problem var. Azdar çaman kanası, no imiz gardır o ki kasar etkide kasa kasa sukta ve belli. Ari abesis ukana martxena taçik işçet domağus. Değil lağ şey uzur bide. Şey vistaulir. Axtıvadır o gurxtıvadır. 
колодки в соцсети уходят. Колодки какие арси. Вот что-то чхриялись хмаис мода. Да. Албат. Кана колодка арис. Ну, арси соцсети едигари. Колодки в соцсети. Там это гамовица, рехамис колодки в соцсети. Эс, эхла, таутсуй, хокаргия. Эхла, рукавия, ре. Ты да утирим вас. Так, окей, ну, вас, шегне, булат, и мизгули, стесро. Она ход, скали, гад, схелде, вак, твор, гад, схелде, вак, вас, вас, так, окей. Шуа, шити, гаста, и масса, да, ухеде. Комбиотер, то да, ухеде. Температура спати, ясно, тот, хмаз, да, урграду, сыт, гад, сул. Миста, взега, уя, ре. Садария, куана, сабла, да. Ладно, перегава, ясно, рад, сирде, вы под мотор не был на видео, вибрация рук от мок, кузал за игру Москва. А если на панели он дал и трио, угана, если цели АБС из дачи Геминда, и драмина. А, да, колодка, вихо. Колодка, все цвели. Мере, если цвели пири, он дал отсюда, другой раз дал отсюда, вот это сирад. Салоны, капитал урод, но гаурецко. Там есть специалисты химии, и он дал ряд, а сарец хатравит, то он мескал, как он стилил, да, комментарий. Раше или вагам увидено. Салон из касарец хат, натриси с аксиденье бида, кавиярари. А, свет свихиди, фильтр свихиди, полцки пау, манка наста. А вот, пенгони кайгаму. Салон шесть магнитола, шушари, ката хили, да, на счет сола. Эс, бухсени, эс пида при каму ватре, та ще те кере бича бухсени уганем хридан. Да, эха ге. Шурупы битарис, там агребули, от хцерта еще есть магнитола, сахарах несет. И вот кеби, мох снида. Сагма от зверя, спата шорис, есть магнитола, ибей зеро, отвали ревти, аси доллари, от хмозда ати доллари, а от сегре, а до спаси. А манка нас, са интересует сакро, ука на хеду из камеры акрат, киму шаус, есть магнитола, мара шуша акиса, капуча були. Вот это сад сода оба, а ванка наши, ука на хеду из камеры отходит, да. Шуша, когда хили магнитологи рейну сайртот. Тихал сра. Там, а ванка нес саболу беди гаги дуа, да. Вот это сригот, да. Видите, тавар не види. Ага. Если ты не камай хоры верчикари, хайс нела нела уна чаухсна. Нела нела тан чаухсна да тан. Тоже телефон имеет вирус. Что-то снелики яри мара. Масса драк. Чем гети? Окей, из галатри. Эхло. А мы смог снять. Мы то мин до даро. Схода схонаири синия. Модели био. По насоннике копила. Чина чига кете бул. Огол. Схода схонаири сари. Модели би их идева, да, ро ар ше мешалоста, рагат са сухо ар гамовица ро, а ми то мухсни, ше вадарепс, суратепс, и бе иста има сто мерам тир дева, да гамовица ро. Амрулсац, айте албат, мухсни хо, то расит вет, мухцон тауто ое сарац, мравал перовани рули, калбат он из хелфи его, из манкана да. The next day. So here is a Kia K900. So on this car we'll be doing full E85 tuning. Do you have any hardware modification done on the car? Nope, nothing. It's completely stock except for the. Um, Different muffler, aftermarket muffler. Okay, but catalytic converters are there? All there. Okay. So all stock and we'll be converting to fully 85. I need to cover this thing here. What year is this? A 2015. Okay, and the 2015 K900 V8. It is absolutely the same engine and same setup, uh, same ECU as Genesis uh, 5.0 R-Spec or non-R-Spec. They say the same. 
That's nice. Okay. Okay. So, first step was I read the stock flash from this vehicle, mm -hmm. like stock program for the transmission and for the engine. And now I will need to test the car and data log the way it is in the factory shape. We need to see it. And only after I see the logs and everything, I will do adjustments. I will make a base map for E85. Mm -hmm. We'll put the E85 in the tank. I will flash the base map and we'll drive around slowly mm -hmm. and then we'll proceed with a, like a power pulls. Okay. Okay, let's go. You ready? Yes. Oh, no. Gas or we'll need just a second gear pull, that's it. Okay. Also, before we do any pulls, mm -hmm. uh, I see that intake air temperature is pretty high, mm -hmm. which is normal for those cars because the intake temperature sensor is located on the back of the intake manifold and uh, I made the intake temperature sensor relocation kit, which is absolutely plug and play and moves the intake temperature sensor to the intake pipe. Mm. And that helps a lot. Uh, this is not my idea. A lot of other Genesis owners uh, use that. And I just made a plug and play kit for this particular uh, platform, uh, 5 uh engines mm -hmm. will it be genesis or kia so that thing helps a lot to uh, see a real intake temperature not the heat soaked intake manifold mm -hmm. temperature because now we see that the intake temperature is pretty high mm -hmm. even even though it's not that hot inside and we were just standing outside and that's normal thing to see but whenever you relocate the sensor to the front mm -hmm. it does read the accurate temperature and uh, affects the vehicle performance because whenever uh, computer sees that the intake temperature is high mm -hmm. it is reducing power re retarding ignition timing and reaching fuel etc so it affects on the performance a little bit but it does and also for the uh, reading more accurate it is good idea to relocate the sensor to the front so if it is something that you will decide in the future to do mm -hmm. you can order this uh, plug-in plug-and-play adapter with sensor or without sensor on, mm -hmm. on a website and you just plug it in and put the sensor on the front that's it I made it really easy yeah, for the, yes for the people who are not like a handy and they cannot do it themselves so. <laughs> like I said I just started getting in the car it's not too long so. it's okay it's okay this, this is gonna help me learn about it so. oh yes yeah. <laughs> Once you floor it, you need to like a step on it and be on it, okay. not not like on and off. So yeah, okay, okay. So, when so I, really, like actually, yeah. just go crazy. Okay, yeah. Okay. So whenever we'll have a spot where we can do that, just tell okay, me. Okay. I, I, I didn't know how much flooring you meant. Like a like really really, really hard. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go back. We're gonna bust the U-turn then. Okay. Um, and go back on that little highway strip. Okay. Get a little bit better. Okay, I'm ready. Can, uh, mm, wait, go straight, go straight. Floored. How do you pump it like that? Like you, <laughs> it has like a tab and you have to press in on the tab yeah. and then pull the green or push the green thing forward as well yeah. and then it pours out. It's like, oh my gosh. 
It's a pain. So it is gas station E85, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing special. No. Okay. And we're almost out of fuel in a tank, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. much less than a gallon than I got here. Okay. Yeah, you can do more. A little more? Yeah, just to watch so it didn't came out. So, uh, we filled up with the E85 now. Uh, we need to start the car. Car is already flashed with a base map for E85. Transmission is flashed also with my base tune. Start the engine, it should run like a 5-10 minute just idling, so the E85 went through. Okay. Go ahead and Good. start it. Okay. So we have like a 10 gallons, right? I'm sorry? We have 10 gallons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot leaked out, so it's probably closer to 8 now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it didn't leak that much. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, about the traction control. This is a kit that comes in a box, I just unpacked it. This plug right here goes in, into the factory uh, traction control fuse location, and you just put it there, attach this ground wire here, anywhere on a chassis ground. You have remote control, you have nut and the fuse puller here, and once you install it, you can have your traction control fully disabled. So on this particular model, K900 or Genesis 5.0, uh, traction control does not turn off fully. So whenever you hit the um, traction control button, it shows the traction is off, but it is not off completely. Whenever you want to like a floor and deliver full power to the, the ground, it just limits you and close the throttle to not spin. As soon as you try to spin uh, tires to like accelerate quick or something, it cuts the power. So this is where the traction control module comes into play and is really handy. So again, it is something that other people have done before and it is not something that I invented, no. Uh, you can just go ahead and pull the fuse from the fuse box, but uh, without this module, your ABS will be also gone. So it is good to have like ABS still on and traction off. So this is what my module does. Whenever you uh, turn off the traction control with the remote, uh, ABS stays on and it is working. So brake system is functioning fully. Yeah. And now in a few minutes, we'll go and uh, do the logging and testing. We're gonna need to stop my my gas uh, my gas cap flew open. Oh, okay. So I'm shut it real quick. Okay, no problem. So whenever we are on a spot, what I need you to do is just put it on a sport mode uh -huh. and uh, driving mode in a sport. Yeah, and whenever you are ready, you just floor it, and uh, when I'm tell you okay, you just then remove like okay. okay. So housing is working that. I'm taking vehicle's original software and I'm adjusting it to customer's needs. So if we need more power, if we need barbell, if we need to remove a speed limit, if we need to adjust RPM limit, improve throttle response and uh, do much more, all of that is done through the software. So here in a Wino LS, uh, in a hex code, I'm looking for the maps that I need and I'm adjusting it in the hex code like a matrix. And then all that modification is going back to uh, ECU, engine control unit. And then we are driving it, looking how car performs here and data logging and monitoring all the parameters that I need. And according to data that I receive here, I'm doing further adjustments till it is perfect. So basically the base is whatever factory gave to this car mm -hmm. and I'm adding extra features and extra options. Okay. Yes. That's so cool. Yeah. So cool. I've been doing this uh, already more than 20 years mm -hmm. and offering services more than 17 years to the customers. So to get to this point where I am now, it took me a long time, yeah. like a multiple years to uh, learn how everything works 
and even though I'm doing it for 20 years, I'm still learning every day something new, I find something new and I see something that can be improved and made a different way and every day you just learn. It is not something that you go to school, learn A plus B is a C and that's it and you're done. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to continuously think and look for improvements and possibilities to improve and implement something new. So, a lot of people do uh, resell software from the tuners like I am and uh, they are just flashing the file and you are good to go and you have whatever you, you have. And uh, I am doing the custom tuning and customizing the software up according to customers' needs and customers' requirements. So there's a huge difference between off-the-shelf map that you can buy somewhere in a shop and the custom tune that I offer. So the custom tune is always high, higher valued because it takes way more time to dial specific uh, parameters to your needs and make it perfect, you know. And this is why uh, it always costs way more because it is custom and it is specifically done for your vehicle mm. and this is what I do so it is not something that oh we will copy like a tune that works on my friend's car really good and it will work for you as well mm. no it will never work like that it will run car better but not as perfect as it can yeah so, so it's like a wearing your neighbor's shoes because he is same age as you yeah yeah no it doesn't work like that uh -huh. You need something that fits your food. Same here. Exactly. See, and that's what I liked about your website. Like, when I told, like, I say it over and over and over again, I knew nothing about cars until like a year ago. But I was just looking around at tunes and stuff, and it'd just be like, oh, like, add to cart, blah, blah, blah. Then I go to your website, and it was like, okay, um, what kind of engine cooling do you want? Do you want your burble to be, you know, mild, loud, or aggressive? Do you like all those different kind of changes and settings and how it caters to me? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, that's, I think it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth the little extra bucks to get something that's like designed for me. Yes, sir. So I, I definitely like that about that. Though. And even though um, there are not listed many things on the website, but there, there, there are way more features that I can offer and uh, implement and uh, do oh. different ways. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was bad. That was bad. Yeah. <laughs> No, but yeah, I like that, that you can implement that all that stuff. Yes. I never even knew that would be possible for a car. Yeah, and this is why also I'm recording those videos for the YouTube. So all the, all the my potential customers or just people around can see how things are done. Yeah. When it comes to custom tuning, so it is not just plug in the OBD adapter, click like a next next finish and you are mm -hmm. done. No, it doesn't work like that. In my case. So I was probably gonna hop on the highway. Okay. Do we need a little more time on like under 40 miles per hour? Or do you think no, we're it's, getting it's up a little bit? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably. You want to do the? When, whenever we are on the straight, straight yeah. yeah, not in the curve. Okay. It is that uh, magic traction button somewhere there? Yeah, oh. <laughs> it says disabled, but not really. it's, it's not fully. Yeah. yeah. So you need to slow down, and I will tell you what to do okay. once once we are on the straight. Don't okay. don't go fast. We need to slow down. Yeah, it's pretty clear. So. Now oh, here are the sockets ringing. Oh yeah. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, slow down here. Okay. Slow down to like a 20. Yeah. Slowly, gradually go to 4500 and floor it. <laughs> Hold steering wheel. Floor it.
<laughs> Indescribable, man. It doesn't feel like the same car. <laughs> okay, we'll need to pull over somewhere and uh, park, so find a safe spot some, somewhere. Is it okay if I put the traction control back on? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can put it in a drive. Look. I mean, we, we're we on like the highway that I came in on, so between here and there, there's not much, so we can U-turn and then go back. Or do you okay. just want to like me pull over to the side of the road? I, I need to do adjustments and flash it, and then we can go and uh, test again. Okay, so just like to the side of the highway for a little bit or something? Or? Yes, like okay. a, we'll need like a 10 minute or so. Yeah, yeah. I'll, okay, I'll find a better spot with that. Okay, so I revised the tune and applied some more parameters. Now I can drive. When you drive normally without pushing, do you see any difference? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's much more responsive and mm -hmm. it picks up a lot quicker, that's for sure. Okay. Even at the lower end. Okay, let's okay, slow down. Okay. Put it in uh, sport, traction off. Oh, no. I'm gonna put my hazards and let them pass me. Down to 20? Yes. Gotcha. 25 or so. Okay. Go to 4500. Steering wheel. Should float. and remove your leg from battle. Okay. Whoa. Do it again. Release. <laughs> no, no, no, no, no, no. Was that real? Yes, sir. You didn't just fart over there, man? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my stomach's cramping. Uh, I got excited. <laughs> Whoa. That was crazy. Accelerate a bit. Oh, he's spinning a lot of gas in this for sure. No, actually, uh, if you will be driving in the drive mode and normally, uh -huh. it will consume uh, like a your gas mileage will be better than it was before mm -hmm. uh, because. I adjusted the tune the way that it was more economic on a lower end when you were cruising. Okay. And uh, it will request all for the less fuel. So whenever you will be having fun uh, and flooring, even in that part, the car will be consuming less fuel than it was before. But the thing is that E85 as a liquid uh, is required more than 93. Yeah. But if you will do like a math and calculate how much gas you needed on a 93 and how much gas like uh, money wise you need on a E85, at the end like a uh, per month you will spend on E85 less than on a 93. Really? If you will compare exact same yeah. conditions and same driving manner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when we're tuning on E85 you see more economy than on uh, 93 and uh, from the factories those cars run pretty rich mm -hmm. and uh, they dump a lot of fuel that is not necessary for those engines mm -hmm. and uh, they consume a lot from the factory and when i'm tuning uh, i'm taking this extra fuel away and uh, let it consume less yeah <laughs> it's so impressive that that's even possible <laughs> yes it is but again the fuel economy depends on the driving manner yeah. if you're on a like a pedal all the time there will be no economy at all yeah, yeah. so do i have to have it in um this mode in sport in order to get the burble or i get so the point is that i said burble at higher rpm range like a 3500 to 5500 okay. in, in that range it will pop 
okay. but either in drive or in a manual mode but you need to be in that rpm range okay so i didn't make it lower because it is getting annoying for the daily car yeah. and uh, for the time being i, I see that that uh, range is like a perfect range for having fun yeah. and drive no normal without having pops but every now and then when i want to get up there i can yeah you yeah. can you can either switch to a manual mode so you are going for example first gear or second gear and you are in 4500 range you will let off the gas and it will pop a few times and stops mm -hmm. yeah That's so cool, man. yes sir first time i heard a burble i've never heard a burble in like in person in the cabin before in my life yeah so we are in the open space now and you have still full uh, stock exhaust just a uh, um, mufflers yeah. are changed yeah but under bridge if you will do it it will sound mean so you, you can try it wait release it release Accelerate. Remove. <laughs> yes, sir. We can never get old. We can never get old. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Okay, we can turn around and go back. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I think you know the answer. <laughs> I know the answer, but uh, I'm recording, so... No, I, I, it's, I'm speechless. I, I was speechless when I got in it for the first time. That was before the burble. That's before you tuned it even more. I mean, it's just, this is... This is a machine right here. <laughs> Turn on from the right, the right side, lane, yeah, exactly. yeah, but wait for the cars on the behind. Yeah. Floor it. side and that's it yeah only thing is the plus and minus yeah that's what i'm like i don't <laughs> actually like so let's try under bridge okay like uh, uh you remove your leg from pedal right before the bridge okay, okay? but get into that higher rpm range up here. yeah Whenever you will be driving next to the wall or next to buildings, yeah, yeah. it will sound mean. Yeah. And wh whenever you remove the catalytic converters, mm. primary and the secondary, I uh, coded catalytic converters out, so you will not have the check, line oh, check engine light on. Also, the catalytic warm-up feature will be off and it will not dump extra fuel to warm the non-existing catalytic converters. <laughs> yeah. So whenever you remove that, uh -huh. it will 
give you a lot more power first of all and then it will sound really mean oh it's gonna sound crazy i'll send you yeah. a video because where i'm from has a lot of underpasses so it'll be like a tunnel for like a mile yeah and so people just get their cars and they'll just haul it in that Woo! tunnel so that's where i'm going there <laughs> that's where i'm going yeah uh, so i'll send you a video and idea. yes please yeah yeah that will be crazy it'll be crazy but i'm gonna drive i gotta get used to it and stuff like that this is I'm used to driving like a grandpa, you know? So it's, yeah. it's like, I'll get used to it then. Now you will drive like a fast grandpa. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so my other, my TDI wagon, have you ever worked with those before? Of course. Yeah, I, I saw it on your website. I'm like, I know, I, I can hear it in your accent. You're probably sick of <laughs> <Yes. right> now, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming from a place where we have a lot of German cars. Yeah. A lot. You just name it. So I was one. I was gonna get that tuned after the warranty expires. Yeah. So you could do stuff with that too. Of course. You, okay. Then I'm yeah. Gonna go and, for that. and they gain a lot of torque. Yeah, that's what. I, that's yeah. one of the reasons I got it. Yeah. Diesels have a lot of torque. Yes, sir. I basically can work on any vehicle that has an engine control unit, mm -hmm. and. Uh, even if I don't have uh, seen a car before, but I know what platform they see you and uh, I, I still can work with it, I can develop anything, whatever customer is requesting me, it need, needs time and uh, everything is manageable. So, if you have an engine at ECU, yeah, you get it tuned out. Yeah, so people are asking me, like, do I specialize on a BMW only <laughs> or on Mercedes only or Volkswagen only because. Whatever people see on Instagram that I post, they think that I specialize only on that, but mm -hmm. it's not true. I specialize on any vehicle that has an engine control unit and is tunable. Some generations, older generation vehicles have a non-tunable ECU mm -hmm. and uh, it depends. You just need to like uh, show me exactly what you got and I can tell you is it possible to tune or not. If it is possible, I will do it. If it is not possible, I will, nobody can do it. Yeah. What is, has anybody come to you with like any car that kind of sticks out like oh my gosh I haven't quite tuned anything like this or anything outlandish or has it been mostly so I have got um, multiple Toyotas uh, and multiple yeah. Nissans that people were saying that it, they are not tunable and people brought me cars from different states and like hey nobody tunes those cars like uh, are you able to do anything yeah sure let's do it and it takes me a few hours and the car is done and ready whatever customers are requesting yeah. even the Toyotas <laughs> yes and even Toyota Matrix like a older 2003 Ford uh -huh. year model which has like a 1.6 1.8 engine yeah I've turned them a lot squeeze some more out of that huh? yeah wow. yeah that's impressive So all I need to do is just to take a look what computer does the car have and I will confirm is it doable or not. Yeah. Because for the time being I've learned so many things and uh, learned how to treat each computer and each platform. Yeah. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of money to be invested into research and development and yeah. 20 years is, is a pretty big amount of time <laughs> to spend on something. I'm only 23 years old. So oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So really? it's basically been since <laughs> I was born. <laughs> God. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible, you know? Damn. Yeah, I, I started from it like a childhood. Yeah. I'm 37 now and at the age of 17 I was all already in, into cars. Mm -hmm. But at the age of 14 I was developing software for the university, for the computers and uh, selling it already so i was at the level at that level for the software in engineering at 17 yeah. no at 14. Oh, 14 yeah and Kids then don't even know how to do the laundry at 14. <laughs> yeah well i i was always at the, into computers and yeah. this was my passion of all my life same as a car so i merged my software engineering knowledge and it knowledge into uh with a car mechanical knowledge uh -huh and I just grew up like that and uh, developed myself. You found your, your passion pretty early then, huh? Oh yeah. That's so Yes. Great. Yes, sir. People are 
tuners or just you know that one make model or brand or something yeah so i i like to deal with stuff when someone is saying it's not possible to do yeah. mm -hmm. it's impossible or it's not tunable yeah well i like to deal with such stuff and uh, when whenever there is something challenging i mean i'm there you know mm -hmm. i really love and enjoy challenging stuff challenging yourself is always good that's what makes people good. yeah <laughs> but it's also good for the like the community because if you didn't challenge yourself i would be driving a grandpa <laughs> luxury car you know like it's, <laughs> it's people like you make differences you know like what you're doing here is really going to get me into the you know knowledge about cars and, and, and stuff like that so yeah. it all started from that it's crazy and the thing is that what i see if, what i hear from a lot of customers that they deal with a uh, uh, different uh, companies or individuals to tune the cars mostly they deal with the people that just flashing a car with a ready map and mm -hmm. that's about it and when the customer has a questions any sort of questions they don't get, get answers yeah. or get really uh, inappropriate answers yeah. and when you're doing yourself stuff you have all the answers for the customer you know because you know what you're doing and yeah. how it works it's not something like oh i need to punch here 15 and maybe car will go faster mm -hmm. no, it you're not just selling a flash drive this yeah time. yeah so this is what people pay for to get all that experience and uh, uh, the results yeah it's not for me the most important part of this whole story is to have a satisfied customer and mm -hmm. happy customer yeah so yeah. this is about 50 right <laughs> <laughs> So this is the biggest uh, achievement for me and if I see that the customer is not happy at, it's at some point I'd rather to not have that car at all on my list than uh, have paid for something that person is not happy about exactly. you know because it's not about money only but I need the result first and then get paid for that result mm -hmm. it's not just you somebody asked for something you you know half-ass it kind of do whatever and then yeah, get your money you gotta throw, sure. throw it yeah. yeah but i can notice that you were that type of guy from the from the first yeah. one i bet you i mean i really care about the results you mm -hmm. know because the results speak themselves not just like someone came from far and paid me and got nothing you ask me about this uh thing uh, uh adaptation part yeah so there is no such adaptation in most cases mm -hmm. And in most cars whenever you are doing a tune you should have uh, results immediately okay. if there is no difference if there is no result do not hope for anything magical happen after some time because nothing will happen you just throw your money away and you're, you're done yeah and there is no such thing that car should adopt and then it will gain more it can gain a little bit more above what you already have like a difference mm -hmm. for example if you got if you came here with for example 500 horsepower mm -hmm. you should immediately get at least like a 510 520 or something whatever and then maybe you will gain extra two three like when some parameters will adapt but not like a, you came with 500 you got again 500 with a tune and you need to wait months or 100 mile and then to drive just comes out of nowhere. yeah and, and <laughs> I don't know, 25 com comes out of nowhere. Yeah. No, it doesn't work like that. No, I don't believe in that. Whoever it is, whoever is watching this video, just keep in mind, it doesn't work like that. You should have results immediately. So you should see excited customer immediately, not like a, <laughs> uh, question yourself, uh, is there anything, like any difference at all or <laughs> not? Yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure. I'm like, I don't know. It, it, the whole process kind of seems like I'm you know to a stupid person getting a whole new engine like it's a whole new car it feels like a whole new car so you think that it's gonna take a while or if you just push it off rip my whole engine's gonna explode but no, it's... no the tune actually well a lot of people are asking me like it does a tune affect uh, uh life of the engine yeah. or longevity so the short answer is no and i will explain why so when the tune is done properly correctly and specifically for your engine it will not harm if you're gonna try to uh, run someone else tune which is not meant for your car which is not meant for your setup it will never work properly first 
and it may give a harm because too much advance of the timing is harmful too much fuel is harmful less fuel is harmful and you need to balance all that and dial in for a specific vehicle so whenever you are doing a custom tune properly it will never harm your engine as long as you maintain it properly uh, run the fuel that you tune on all the time mm -hmm. and not tune for example on 93 and go ahead and next day run 87 yeah. you will hurt engine oh. immediately mm -hmm. and you should not be doing that if you are tuned on e85 you should stick to e85 when it comes to racing with this particular car or genesis 5.0 when you are tuning on my e85 setup um, you can run e85 and in emergency cases you can put the 93 to reach home or finish your road trip but it is not meant to put the uh, 93 and floor it and race it you should not do that because you will hurt the engine mm -hmm. because now the car is tuned for e85 you can still put the 93 and cruise in emergency case if you run out of e85 and you cannot reach home but you should not use 93 for the racing purpose okay but it's nice that I have the ability if I need to use it in a pinch if there's no e85 yes. available I can have some 93 yes, sir. in there yeah. yes you can it's really nice yeah but it is not a flex fuel so it is like a strictly e85 yeah, yeah and use 93 in emergency case mm -hmm. can you put in a park quickly yeah Rev engine. Okay. Rev between four and five thousand. Okay. okay. I like that sound. <laughs> Yeah, it will be way louder when you remove the... Because. And the sound uh, deadening on this car is really great. Yeah. And we don't hear as much as it is outside. outside it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure on the camera it is not... You cannot hear that much, but it is way loud on, on the outside. outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it you can. Ugly yes, so the park rev limiter is yeah. also uh, altered and you can rev freely up and down. Which is nice. That was one of the most annoying things about this car that I saw that was nice when it was included. Yeah. A lot of cars have that uh, park limiter. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I take care of it. So a lot of people are asking me like when you will be here, when you will be there, in this state, on that state, that state. I would like to mention this on the video that uh, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you schedule your appointment, I will be traveling, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I will just hop in the car or in on a plane and travel. It doesn't matter, as long as travel expenses are paid. So obviously it de depends how far I need to drive or travel or fly. Uh, the travel expenses will be different, but the service fee will, will remain the same as for the tuning. and. Uh, I made the uh, online booking on the website and uh, payment through the PayPal for a reason to make people comfortable and safe that to not think that oh I'm gonna take a hundred dollar deposit and run away so people can anytime uh, I don't know ask for a refund through the PayPal and be safe with that just uh, I made the PayPal payment not Zelle or like a cash app or something just for that reason to make people comfortable so whenever you book your appointment online on my website and indicate your address etc i will be there on a selected date and time on time and uh, i travel to customer's location and uh, tune the car on the spot wherever it is is home or garage or shop it doesn't matter so i make it easy for the customer so at the same time, some people work till late, some people work early morning, it doesn't matter what I do it at customer's comfort. Is it early morning appointment or late night, it doesn't matter for me, as long as everything is scheduled and set up in advance. That's about it. So we are done today here, and I think we can now remove all the adapters, etc. and go further. Thank you very much. Life changing man, best of the best right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, do you want a badge sticker? Of course I do. <laughs> I'm not gonna 
You mean you just made me smile for five hours? You think <laughs> I'm gonna let people know who did this? Come on. Uh, it's okay turning it off and everything, right? Yeah, sure. Don't turn it off. Here you go, sir. Oh, th oh, this is beautiful, actually. <laughs> this is so nice. Yes. I don't even know where I want to put it. Where uh, do people usually put it? Some people, oh, I'll wash my car some, some people, it, yeah. Some people put here. Yeah. Some, yeah. some people put it under the badge of the here or either. I don't think it will look here yeah. nice, but. Uh, kind of do like another thing. That does look pretty cool. Yeah. So you, if you, for example, do on this side, for example, I can give you a second one so you can put it on the other side oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. Nice. You oh, go. Sorry, yeah, take, take it. Take it. <laughs> Thank yeah. You. So whenever you clean it, yeah. you can attach and take a photo and send it oh, to me. Of course, man. Yeah. Of course. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>